So mm. I created NASA's first internet. It's oh, called wow. Span. And it exploded in the sense that we were bringing on nodes all wow. over the place. Wow. I can only and so uh, by the end of 1980, I was doing remote file transfer, remote log on. We, we were using computers uh, to do messaging. I could mm -hmm. look at another computer at Stanford. And here I am at, in Alabama. I could look at a computer at Stanford, see who's on it, and send them a message. And then we could communicate over text. We didn't have to call anybody. So when we wrote proposals, we would write stuff and send it to them. And we could get immediate response. It was just absolutely fantastic. And wow. so the network as a resource exploded. Sure. Not only we were connecting research institutes all over the place, but since I was a civil servant, I could leverage and use NASA's communication infrastructure and mm. build on it. And so uh, wow. that network was really wonderful. And we started using it for all kinds of stuff. I mean, I could spend, you know, a long time talking about the stuff we did on this network. Sure. 1985, I connected ESA. Uh -huh. We went right into Darmstadt. Okay, I got NASA headquarters to pay for an international link. And wow. they began connecting other universities into what they called eSPAN or European uh -huh. SPAN, and SPAN was an acronym that said Space Physics Analysis Network. Okay. And then in 87, I connected to JAXA, uh, okay. the, the Japanese Space Agency. And then 92, we were in Moscow. So all the wow. four big agencies, NASA, ESA, ISAS, JAXA, uh, uh, Roscosmos, were all connected via the network I created. 